Now today the community is trying to move forward from the ordeal. ABC 3340's Brian Somerville is live in Midland City uh, and Brian schools have officially reopened today. Well, Linda, a couple of the schools here in Dale County actually reopened yesterday. However, a handful of them, including Midland City Elementary, which of course is where little Ethan attends, that one did open up today. And I talked with a lot of people who say they are ready to move forward, but obviously the fear and uncertainty still very fresh in the minds of students. For the first time in seven days, School buses are delivering students to Midland City Elementary. One week ago, police say this man, Jimmy Dykes, boarded a Dale County bus, shot and killed the driver, Charles Poland Jr., and abducted five-year-old Ethan. He's endured a lot. Just by the grace of God, but you know, he's, he's, he's okay. It ended Monday. Law enforcement stormed the bunker and rescued the child, Dykes, is now dead. Some say the town ready to move forward. I think they're just ready to move on. We need to move on, get the kids back in school. Other parents like Melissa Duffy says her children are nervous. We are worried. Kids coming to us, hugging us, clinging on to us, um, worried, scared to go back. Fearful for their safety, particularly on the bus. I'm personally not letting my kids ride the bus anymore. But one student, Terika Singletary, who was on the same school bus as little Ethan, is ready to get back to normal. Everyone's just going to do what they do, you know. They we're going to work and uh, try to get through that moment and try to pass that moment off. A moment Duffy not quite over, but knows eventually that fear will go away. I know every day it'll get easier, but we just pray that nothing like this happens again. And that is certainly the prayer. Now, Dale County Superintendent Donnie Bynum says that counselors will be available at school in case any student wishes to talk. Live in Midland City tonight, Brian Somerville, ABC 3340.